Okay, and up next, let's switch to Vite. Basically, instead of create React app, we're going to use different tool to scaffold and develop our React project. Now, I really don't want to spend too much time on discussing benefits of Vite. If you're interested in learning more, there are plenty of YouTube videos and blog posts that cover that. And as a side note, they also cover that in the docs. Just click on Why Vite tab. In short, at this point, Vite is much faster than Create React app. And right out of the box, it provides tons of great features. And as a result, we get way better dev experience. Now, if you're wondering why we covered Create React app in the first place, effectively, why we did not start with Vite right away? Well, there are two reasons. First, there's still plenty of code examples that use Create React app. So in my opinion, it's useful to know the general layout and commands. Second, more importantly, I really want you to get comfortable writing React code in any environment. You see, once you start working for a company or switch to one of the React frameworks, for example, Next.js, the dev environment will be different. Yes, you'll still write the same React code, but folders and commands, they will be different in each environment. And therefore, it's important for us to get comfortable working in different setups. With that said, once we cover each setup, you'll see that the general idea is pretty much the same. It's just here and there. The implementation is tiny bit different. Okay, and in order to get started with Beat project, we first want to navigate to the docs, and the URL is www.beatjs.dev. Again, URL is www.beatjs.dev. Then we want to go with get started, continue scrolling, and we're going to go with template. Now, I'm assuming you're using the latest node version. So if you don't, if your NPM version is less than seven, then of course, use this command. But since I'm assuming that most people who are watching have the NPM greater than seven, that's why I'm going to go with this command. So we're looking for NPM create Vite at latest, then we need to provide the name. And then we have two sets of dashes template. And as you can see, they provide a bunch of templates. We have for vanilla JS, for Vue, Svelte, and all that. Now we're looking for the React one. So essentially, we just need to structure this command. So let me navigate back. I'm going to massively zoom in. Again, in my case, I'm going to create that project in the desktop. Of course, it's really up to you where you want to do that. And now let me carefully grab this command. So I'll take everything up to a template. First, I'm going to change the name. It's not going to be my view app. It's actually going to be a React app. And then as far as the template, we want to go with space and then type React or copy and paste React. That's really up to you. As you can see, you'll right away get the project. So that's the cool thing. Again, I did not stop the video or anything like that. We right away get the project. And now we just want to spin it up. So first, Let's just open up the text editor. Then I'm going to drag and drop. And you'll see that the setup is very, very similar to the Create React app. And first, let's just navigate to the package JSON. And you'll notice that the command we're looking for is npm run dev. So this is going to spin up the dev server. And before we can do that, we want to install the dependencies. So we go here with npm install. So this might take a little bit, but trust me, it's definitely going to be much faster than create react app. And then we want to go with npm run dev again, instead of npm start, we go with npm run dev. And also the local host is going to be different. So yes, we'll still have the react application and we'll take a look at the code in a second and all that, but the local host is going to be 5173. So up until now, we have been using localhost 3000, but now it's going to be 5173. And before we take a look at the application, I just want to quickly mention, if you're interested 
in basically the info that I'm providing. If you want to keep that as a note, it's actually located in the fundamentals all the way at the end of the readme. So after all the fundamental stuff over here, you'll find info on create react app as well as beat. So I guess our project is up and running at localhost 5173. So why don't we navigate over there just to see what we have. And yes, probably during this video, it's going to be annoying to some people that I'll just keep repeating that as you can see, the setup is extremely similar because that's the main point that I'm trying to get across. Even though we're switching to a different tool, the setup is going to be extremely, extremely similar. So we install dependencies. If we want to run the project, we go with NPM run dev. As you can see here at the top, we have node modules. What do we have over there? Those are dependencies. As far as the differences, we must, must, must name our files JSX. So in Create React App, we can name the file JS or JSX. In Vite, the rule is JSX. So if you'll name your file JS and then start setting up the component, yes, Vite will complain. So that's the first difference. We must use JSX extension in the Vite. Now, second, you'll notice that even though the public folder is there and the idea is exactly the same, whatever we place over here is publicly available, there is no index HTML. So in here, the index HTML is sitting in a root. Again, the idea is exactly the same. Notice we still have the div with an idea root. So this is where our application effectively is going to live. We can still change the title over here. So for example, I can say react project. And now of course, once I save, this is what I'll have here in a tab. So that part doesn't change only the location. And once we're done with index HTML, now let's discuss main JSX. So unlike create react app where we used index JS in beat project, we need to use main JSX. And yes, as you can see, the code is extremely similar to the index JS in create react app. So the idea is exactly the same. We just need to use main JSX. And as you can see, we're importing the app. So this is still going to be our root component. Now, the only thing that we haven't seen is the use state, something that we're going to cover in a few videos. But if, for example, I go here and change the JSX, you'll see that I'll have the same result in the browser. So let me go here. I'll remove everything. We go with heading one and I'll say our first beat project and check it out. Once we save, of course, this is what we'll have on the screen. So again, the idea doesn't change. We still import the logo the same way because notice now the assets is sitting in source. So this is the public one. This is where we have all the assets that are publicly available. However, within the project, when we're going to be importing those assets, they're nicely tucked away in this assets folder in the source. And this should look already familiar since we did cover the ES6 modules and all that. And the rest of it, it's pretty much the same. Again, don't focus on this one. We'll cover this hook in pretty much a few videos. So don't worry about that. We also have app CSS where basically we have all the styles and also the index CSS. And we did cover differences when we discussed the folder structure in create react app. So I'm not going to repeat that. And lastly, I just want to mention that if we want to build the application, we go with npm run build, which again is going to create that production ready application. And let's try it out npm run and build. And in this case, it's going to be sitting here in the dist folder. So unlike create react app, which creates build folder, we have this folder, same deal, we can take this folder, 
drag and drop in Netlify, and we're good to go. And yes, if you use continuous deployment, the idea is going to be exactly the same. And as a side note, Netlify right away picks it up. So if you go with Beat, right away it will say, hey, do you want to use the dist folder and do you want to use this command? So again, the general idea is exactly the same, whether it's the imports, whether it's the root component, the index HTML and all that. So that is not going to change. The only difference is that this tool is much better. So our dev experience is just going to be awesome compared to Create, React, 